Okay, so what we're going to do here is open up a new family and I'm going to use the metric door and open that. And now I'm just going to open up some of the views ready. There we go. I'm going to get rid of that there because what we're doing here is creating an arch and it's going to be a, an elaborate arch. So I'm just deleting the existing architraves around there. And now what I want to do is, first of all, go to the exterior view. And remember, in a previous video, we got to be very careful with the mouse here. So we select the opening cut and we can edit the sketch. So this is the hole in the wall. And for this one, it's going to be a fairly simple shaped arch, but we're going to have a lot of decoration around it. OK, so now what we want to do is create a sweep. OK, so we'll pick the path and we'll pick the sides there and then we can sketch the profile. OK, so we will edit the profile and we'll do it in the reference plan so we'll jump to there and now on this corner here we will draw out the shape of our profile so I'm just going to do something a little more ornate than I've done previously okay Tidy it up because remember it's got to be one continuous pink line. Okay, and at this point here, select the material. So I'm going to use marble again, as I've done before. There we go. Marble, load in, select that. Okay, and tick. And then tick again. And now we can see that's wrapped around. We look at that in our exterior. And there it is. And there we go. If we spin this around, we've got that on our 3D, swap it to realistic, and we can see we've got a nice elaborate shape. So really, that profile of that gives you the basis of whatever type of shape, and you can put little in grooves and curves and rounded sections, etc., all in there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add a bit more detail to these, maybe another material, um, so I'm going to swap to the exterior view. And to do this, what I'm going to do is actually create extrusions. And this is where we can just add that bit of extra detail now to these. So I'll start off with a circle. OK, and I'll say 35 there. That's fine. And then I'll offset it, um, say, 10. And make sure that offsets on the inside. Delete that. And by here, we've got the extrusion start and end. Now, if we look at this on a side view, so let's go left. Um, we can see that's by there. And we obviously came out a certain distance by there. So I'm going to come out as a 75 and then make that a zero maybe minus 75, I think it will be, because it's on this side of it. But we can check that once we, there we go. So obviously, if that's in the wrong place, if it's over here somewhere, you can just adjust that by pulling those or just checking the figures. So let's look at that back over here. So we can see we've got that there. Now, the material for that, I'm going to change and I'm going to use a 
Let's say copper on this one. Let's have a little look. Copper, load in, and I'll have that. There we go. So that's something a little different. All right, now maybe you're thinking, oh, does that stick out too much? If it does, well, let's just say make that 65. And just get it spot on to make sure you're happy with it. Okay, now we want that to go all the way around. So the easy bit is down here. So we will click it, use the array command, and make sure it's a linear array. Um, the number of them, I'll say 15 for now. If it's too many, we can delete them. And we will go from there and we will come down a nice distance. So say 125 maybe. Yeah, 125. There we go. Not quite enough. So we'll have a couple more. We'll just copy one more. And do another 125. There. And that looks OK. Now, the next little bit, we're going to do a, a radial array. So again, we'll click that. And we will use the array, swap it to radial, and I'll say 10 of them. And we want it to go, um, well, first of all, place the center. Now, we've got the center marked out nicely by there. So we'll make sure we use that. And we've got to remember the angle is the angle for each individual one as we go around. So we want it to do a 180. So we'll say 18. All right. There we go, 18 degrees. And those go around like that. And then what we'll do then is get all of these ones and we'll mirror them. And I'll use the pick line and just pick that center point there. And that's all of those. So now we've got a nice selection of little circles there as little standout features. And I think finally what we'll do is just put a little zigzaggy shape around the outside one there. So we'll skip across here back to the elevation. And again, we'll create another extrusion. And what we're going to do here is start off down the bottom. I'll come up 150. Go across say 35, just draw the line there. I'll have a line across there as well. Offset, I'll make this one 25. There we go. I'll use that to join those two together. And then I'll use the mirror command. Do those, hit the space bar and do that and then trim like that and then I'll do the mirror again. Okay and then what we could do here we've got a few of them I'll select them and now I'll use the copy command and just go from the bottom by there to the next one and the next one, and the next one, and then I'll delete the bits I don't want. Okay, now this bit gets quite tricky. So what I'm gonna do here is do a few guidelines, and I'm gonna take these to the center of those circles, like so. And that will give me a nice basis. Now I want to extend those two lines to that first circle. So I'll do that, click on that, and then those two can go join it. All right, then I'll mirror and pick line. So select, click, and pick the line you're mirroring on. And make sure they're joined together, should be. There we go. And then we'll do the same with the next two lines. So we'll do that, select the lines and pick the mirror point. And now we definitely need to do this little filleting by there. And we'll repeat that 
there and same again by there okay and then what we can do is select I'll get rid of those lines now because we don't need them select all of those and mirror them all on that center line and then we can adjust our material so I'll just choose the copper again like I was using and the extrusion start it's gonna to have to come out further this time so I'm gonna go for a 175 um, it doesn't need to be a zero I'll do it a minus 100 so it go all the way into the wall i um, got a few lines intersecting there looks like I've missed something there we go look see I just missed that out so we'll um, continue and just correct that not sure how I did that exactly but I better check this side because I mirrored it it must have been slightly inaccurate when I copied it okay let's try again there we go so now we look at that in 3d and we have some more extra projecting details so really an elaborate arch you can create quite simply using the profile of the sweep and then you can also add extra um, extrusions of varying shapes and materials to give you extra detail I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, as it does help the channel to grow. Thank you very much.